Hello and welcome back to the Beat Homer bonus on the three box break, Supreme, Timeless Treasures, and Gridiron Legends. Um, we have two people that are automatically going to be playing into the chip game. Uh, Buster3985, who bought 10 teams, and Jay Stanford, who bought the last 7 teams in the Buy Me Out bonus, also gets a guaranteed spot in the chip game. But we will get to that in a minute. First, we're going to do the Beat Homer bonus. If you haven't done a Beat Homer bonus before, this is how it works. We play a game of Texas Hold'em against Homer. If we beat Homer, two other people are going to get to play the chip game. We're going to randomly decide that later, and we'll get to that also. Uh, if Homer beats us, we're, only, we're still going to have one other person playing the chip game. So no matter what, we're going to have a minimum of three chip games. First thing we're going to do is shuffle the cards. him a cut and we will give Homer his first card a seven of diamonds will give us our first card six of clubs give Homer a second card seven of clubs he's got pocket sevens and our second card ace of spades so we will burn a card put three down for the flop It is a deuce, king, jack. Doesn't help us. Homer's still winning with his pocket sevens. Burn a card and go to the turn. Ten of clubs gives us a little bit of help. We need an ace or a queen. We'll burn a card and go to the river. It is a three of diamonds. Homer wins with his pocket sevens. We only have an ace high, but that's okay because... As we all know, it would be boring if Homer just won once, and that was the end of it. So what we're going to do is make it a best two out of three, see if we can beat Homer twice in a row. Because it's not fun if Homer just wins once, and then we're done. We'll do a best two out of three. Hopefully, if we beat Homer t two more times, two times in a row, we'll get two more people in the chip game. If not, we'll still have one person next turn in the chip game. So here we go. Give Homer his first card. There's the queen we needed from last time. Queen of clubs. Give us our first card. Ace of spades. Give Homer a second card. Nine of diamonds. Give us our second card. Three of hearts. So we will burn a card. Put three down for the flop. It is a ace five deuce. That gives us a pair of aces. So we are beating Homer. We'll burn a card and go to the turn. Ten of clubs. That's not a great card for us. Gives Homer a flush draw. Burn a card and go to the river. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Nine of clubs. Homer gets a flush with the queen of clubs. That's unbelievable. Since I came back, we haven't been able to uh, beat Homer. Homer's been on a roll. But that's okay. We still have three people playing the chip game. Um, so here's how that works. We have 50 white chips, 45 green chips, 10 blue chips, 5 orange chips, and 2 purple chips. Um, each one of those chips has a corresponding envelope. Each envelope has a bonus inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all these chips we're going to put it in that box. We're going to shake the box up, randomly pull out one chip. Whatever chip that's pulled, we will open that envelope, and uh, you'll get that whoever turn it is, get that bonus. First, we're going to go with Buster. 3985 is going to play the chip game first. So this is for him. We're going to take all of our chips. We're going to put them in the box. We're going to show that all the pretty chips, all the colors in the rainbow are in there. We will close the box up. Put the camera down so I can close the box up. 
We're going to shake it. Put our hand in, grab one random chip. It is a green chip, so this is again for Buster 3985. We're going to take the green envelope and open it up. And inside is a Liddell Betts jersey card from 2010 Epics. So congratulations, Buster, along with the other hits that you got in the box. You're going to get this as well. We're going to take that green chip. We're going to put it back into the box. This next chip game is going to be for Jay Stanford, who had the buy me out bonus. So we're going to shake it up again, put our hand in, pull out one random chip. It is a white chip. So we will take the white envelope, open it up. Inside is 10 uh, rookie and um, insert cards. As you can see in the front is a Mark Ingram rookie. On the back is a Andy Dalton rookie, so they're not terrible. Then what we're going to do is we still have one more person to play the chip game. So how we're going to decide that is... I have a list of NFL teams ranging from 1 to 32 in alphabetical order by city and I have a random number generator. I'm going to hit this three times, whatever number pops up. Uh, I have it set for 1 to 32 is who's going to, whoever owns that team is going to get to play a chip game so I hit it once, twice, three times, number 20. Number 20 is the New York Giants. So, who owns the Giants? Giants are owned by Guy Schroeder. So, this chip game is for Guy Schroeder. We're going to take our white chip, put it back in the box, shake the box one more time, and pull out another chip. It is another white chip. And by the magic of television, we have another white envelope here with another set of 10 insert and rookie cards. Uh, we have a Curtis, uh, Sean Green on the front, a David Geddes in the back, and eight more inside. So congratulations to those on the Beat Homer bonus. Please check out, um, and those who got good hits in the break, please check out my other auction, my other breaks. I have a four-box break up now, available on eBay and on BoxBreaks.com under Danny D23, so please check that out.